Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. Today, I wanted to show you this bag. Uh, this is a Kate Spade bag, and as you can see here, it has these beautiful poppies on it. And I've been using this bag recently, you know, not only because it's, it's beautiful um, and it makes a nice work tote for me, but because of the significance of the poppies. And we're coming up on uh, November 11th, and here in the States, we celebrate that as Veterans Day. But I know that my uh, friends and neighbors around the world uh, refer to this day as Remembrance Day. And I thought we might take a few minutes today to talk about the significance of the poppies and how we could reflect on them. I think, so I think the first time I noticed the poppies, um, I saw pictures of, of them on the royal family. So I kind of had seen it before, I just really never paid attention and knew exactly what that was all about. I, I didn't know really about the significance of poppies until I lived in Europe and uh, many of my friends began to wear the poppies um, in November and I became, I became very curious about what the significance of the poppies were and asked them, and asked them to tell me more about that. And then I had a student uh, who was uh, from Canada and she was also wearing the poppy in the month of November. And she also told me about the significance of the poppy and she told me about the poem in Flanders Fields, which I felt like I had heard about before, but I never really truly like studied it in depth. And um, so, so I had the opportunity to study this poem in depth recently. And so here's a little bit of a story time to tell you about that. I was invited to be a narrator for a local the choral organization and they were programming a concert on choral music that was based on poetry and one of the pieces in their repertoire was in Flanders Fields and of course the composer had set that poem to music and my job as the narrator was to basically create a script that would not only in, not only introduce the pieces, but find some way to connect the audience with the poetry that's, that, they're, that they're going to hear in the song. And so that might have been telling them some history about the poet or telling them some context about how the poetry came to be, or in some cases actually reading the poetry aloud verbally, you know, before they would hear it being sung in the piece. So when I began to study a little bit about this poem in Flanders Field, I was quite taken, taken by surprise. And there's another level of the story in that particular time in my life because I was about seven months pregnant with twins and my hormones were, you know, all over the place. I was super emotional in, anyway. And to think about the, you know, just the tragedies of war in general was quite upsetting. But to think that the people who, you know, who lost their lives in that war were someone's babies. And um, to think, you know, how hard we had worked and tried uh, to make these babies, to think that someday that those precious lives might be lost for a war, which is so hard to wrap my mind around. I just, I was, I was just a wreck when I was preparing, uh, preparing for this project. Um, so when I have a chance now to really see the, see the poppies and think about the Remembrance Day, or you know, to think about Veterans Day, for me now, it's, it has a little, it has more significance. Uh, and I don't know, it's just, it has a different meaning for me because I've spent so much time, I think, thinking about this poetry. So I wanted to share that with you today. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the bag in a little bit more detail, but I wanted to, just, to spend some time thinking about the poppies and the situation that led this poem to be created in the first place. Now, caveat, I'm not a literary expert or a scholar on poetry by any means. I'm just an amateur who has been touched by this poem. In Flanders Fields was written by John McRae in the year 1915. And from what I read, his friend and fellow soldier was killed and he actually performed the funeral. And, um, and he saw, you know, with his own eyes and his own experiences, the, the tragedies of war, and he saw with his own eyes how quickly nature would 
retake the land after the bodies had been bur buried there and he saw the poppies there on top of the graves. And he wrote this poem um, after he, you know, basically put his friend and uh, colleague in the ground. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. So the reference to the red poppies that grew over the graves of the fallen soldiers resulted in the remembrance poppy, becoming one of the world's most recognized memorial symbols for soldiers who have died in conflict. And I think it's, I think it's beautiful and sad um, at, you know, at the same time. So yeah, they, they can have, um, a lot of symbolism, I think. We have a, a Remembrance Day on November 11th to commemorate the end of World War I um, when the armistice agreement was signed. At the end of World War I, when they were signing that, that, that people couldn't even imagine that there would be another war so soon and so horrific, you know, after this one had ended. So it's just, I just cannot put my mind, my mind around it, nor can I put my mind around that we still have wars even to this day. Both of my grandfathers were veterans. They served in World War II. And, you know, I, I know that when they were living, I didn't fully understand, appreciate, uh, comprehend all the sacrifices that they made um, to be veterans in, the, in that war. So I just wanted to include that here as my thank you to those special veterans in my life. So on this, on this channel, you know, I talk about bags, which are, it's fun for me to talk about bags, but you know, sometimes bags can help us talk about life. And in this situation, I hope that's, that's what we can get from this today. I love using this bag because of the qualities of the bag, but especially because of the symbolism of the poppies. So we'll talk a little bit more about the bag. It's a, it's a Kate Spade bag. I don't have a lot of Kate Spade, but from the few bags, from the few Kate Spade bags that I have, I can say that this one I think is the best quality one that I've ever like felt, touched, experienced. The leather on it is textured. It's pebbled. I love how it has the studs detail along the sides, and it's very. It's a very simple, meaning that there's not um, not any um, extra things to the to the tote itself. It has a really nice strap drop that goes easily, you know, over my elbow. It has a really good smooth uh, zipper at the top of the tote, and it is like I don't know how to explain the interior of it. It's not a textile uh, lining, and it's not like the it doesn't feel like, you know, sway like the opposite side of the leather. It feels like it's leather lined, though, you know, I can't comment for sure. The only organization on this inside that's made inside the tote is this back slip pocket here, which is a great place where I just keep my work keys. Then I have an organizer down inside it just to help keep all my work things from just uh, falling all inside the middle of the tote. But yeah, I really like the size and the shape of this as a, as a work bag. I love talking about bags. It's very fun, very frivolous, but you know, sometimes, sometimes bags can help us just talk about life. And in this case, I thought it might be a good, a good, like uh, a good way to just talk about uh, me thinking about uh, November 11th and Remembrance Day, Veterans Day, and my gratitude um, for the 
and my gratitude not only for my grandfathers but for all of those uh, who have served previously who are currently serving the family members that are supporting them and my heart just goes out to any family member who might not have a loved one come home to them and I just say thank you there's so much gratitude so I appreciate you joining me today on this video. If you feel that you have liked this video, to give me some feedback, if you would like more videos about not just bags, but how bags relate to life or life relates to bags, or, you know, maybe some deeper content like that, then let me know in the feedback through the comments or by liking the video or what, in whatever way seems appropriate. You take care and I look forward to seeing you back here in the very near future. All right, thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.